Folks, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where today it is time to pass on my review of the Helicon Tex Swagman Roll. Inside of this storage bag, what you have is primarily a blanket. Secondarily, it can be used as a quilt. This is a very interesting product that could be used in many ways, including the two that I've mentioned already. But you can use this as a poncho. You can use this as an underquilt with your hammock, and so on. It is a very versatile, high quality piece of kit that I've been testing out for most of the year. You all saw this early in the year. I was using this with an overnight adventure and I've continued to use this. With most of my test night trips that I've done this year, I've had this product with me. If you go out to purchase one of these products, this is exactly what you will get. You get the storage bag. It's not a compression sack, but a storage bag. You have a grab pool down at the bottom and you also get the blanket itself. Or I should say the Swagman Roll, right? Now when it comes to the Swagman Roll, let's go over the stats real quick. Retail price at the time of filming is $126. It is available in numerous colors, including green, black, coyote, flecktarn, wildwood, and more. On my scale, one pound, 11.4 ounces. And that includes the storage bag. The storage bag itself comes in at one ounce. The measurements when it's stuffed, six and a half inches by 12 inches long. When it comes to the materials, you are looking at a nylon shell that has been treated with DuPont Teflon fabric protector, which essentially means that it will repel water, stay cleaner for longer, and so on. It has Climashield Shield Apex insulation. And speaking of the Apex insulation, this is the same insulation that's been provided to U.S. military forces for over 30 years with their insulation layers, poncho liners, and whatnot. As you all can see, I've unrolled the roll Here's the center. This is the poncho hole for your head. It features a hood. You have a zippered pocket there in the center. This is the top. And at the top, there is no zipper. But a zipper line does begin on each side and it meets in the middle down at the bottom. It features this zipper so that you can zip this up and make a sleeping bag out of it. When it comes to the measurements, you're looking at 79 inches long and roughly 55 inches wide. As you can see, I can easily cover myself up with this. In the sleeping bag mode, 27 and a half inches wide, 79 inches long. Now, of course, you can hop inside of this any way that you want to. I like to open it up, get in, and then zip it up. But you can crawl in if you want to. Just like that, you went from a blanket to a sleeping bag and you do have draw pulls at the top one on each end and you have draw pulls at the bottom one on each end so you can cinch this you also have buckles which you can close tighten loosen and those come into play when you're wearing this as a poncho as you can see there the zipper is very smooth that is a ykk zipper what you have here is poncho mode. Now remember, you have the buckles that I talked about, and you can use these in numerous ways. You can buckle them up in front. You can also reverse this and buckle it up in the back. This is a really nice way to stay warm in the mornings. You climb out of that cold tent, that air is hitting you in the face, you could pop this on. It's pretty sweet, it really is. With the weight of the blanket, the materials, this will keep you warm down to roughly 50 degrees. Past that point, you will get cold. Now, of course, that is subjective, right? Somewhat. Some people run hot, some people run cold. So there is just a little bit of leeway there. Below 50 degrees, I was cold with this blanket and I am someone who sleeps rather hot. I have heard from multiple viewers who stated that on another channel, an individual was talking about using this down into the 30s and they were warm and I would say absolutely not. Not unless they had some serious insulation layers clothing on underneath this blanket. It is way too thin for that. And again, when you go into the 40s, you will get cold with this. 30 degrees, that's a pipe dream. And that's been confirmed with my testing and also with the viewers that I spoke to. Overall, the quality of this is excellent. There's no loose threads, there's no issues here. Everything looks really, really good. The insulation's not coming out. It has stayed very much clean with all of my use. The design is awesome. This is a very versatile piece of kit. And the question becomes with it, how are you going to use it? Are you going to use it as a blanket, 
as a sleeping bag or quilt. You can use this with a USGI poncho and it works very well as a liner. In my opinion, the hood is excellent. You have a draw pull, you have a piece of Velcro on the back so you can secure this and stow it when you don't need it. The form factor is excellent. You can roll this up, stow it anywhere that you need to, or you can fold it. It sheds water very well thanks to the DWR treatment. And lastly, for the money, the value is not bad with this product, not at all. For a 50 degree bag that's as versatile as this, the price, in my opinion, is very good. There are sleeping bags out on the market today that feature down materials that cost more than this that do not perform half as well as this. Another pro for this product is the size when being used as a blanket. It's plenty big, it's plenty long, you can stay warm, you can fully cover up for most people. Let's go over cons for you all now. As I mentioned before, in blanket mode, it's plenty long, plenty wide. In sleeping bag mode, some people are going to have a hard time here. And that's because this is very, very tight. At 27 and a half inches, I am just barely comfortable. Let me word that in a different way. At 27 and a half inches, I can make do, right? But the thing is, I'm slightly restricted. My shoulders are right at the edge of this blanket, as you can see. To be fully comfortable, I need a little bit more space. And the thing is, I'm not a huge guy by any means. So for bigger individuals in sleeping bag mode, this is going to be tight. And in some cases, impossible to use. If you have wide shoulders like I do, or you're a bigger individual, this may simply not work for you. Even though it would be long enough for most people. That is without a doubt my biggest con when it comes to this product. Another con, which is rather slight. The hole here is rather small. So if you have a big head, <laughs> this can be difficult to get on. For myself, my noggin just barely fits through that hole. So if you're someone with a big cranium, you may want to consider something else. Now there is a pro to having the smaller hole here, and that's that it traps in more heat. But in my opinion, I'd like to see a bigger neck hole, head hole, because you already have the ability to cinch this. So you don't have to worry about drafts and whatnot. When it comes to the cons, that is it. All in all, do I recommend this product? Absolutely. This has proven to be an excellent piece of summertime kit. In my opinion, you could use this into the fall in colder months, but you would have to use it in conjunction with something a lot warmer than this. Again, folks, once you go below 50 degrees, you will start getting cold with this blanket, with this bag, with this poncho, however you want to use it. Over the last couple of years, folks, I've really grown to appreciate Helicon Techs. They make excellent gear. For me and my experiences, the quality has always been excellent. The value has always been extremely good. And that continues with this product. I can easily recommend this product, but you have to keep in mind the limitations, temperature and size. Will it work for you? Only you can answer that question. For 100 and roughly $30, I think this is an excellent product that I like just about everything about it. I wish it was just a little bit bigger. And again, I'm a smaller individual and it's tight for me already. So do keep that in mind. I have more Helicon Techs reviews coming up. I've been testing out a lot of products from them. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel, hit the notification button so you can be alerted to those videos. I wanna hear from you all. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about the swag man role? I know for a fact that there's a lot of viewers who saw me using this months and months ago. They went out, purchased this and they love it and I've heard of no one having any sort of issues. Again, the quality with this is top notch. So with that being said, I'm done. Again, comment down below, share your thoughts about Helicon Techs, and share your thoughts about the Swag Man role. It's good stuff. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I'll see you in the next upload.